Hello, detective. I'm so pleased to make your acquaintance. You can certainly know me by many names, but I would like to introduce myself to you as the Clock King. Do you find my moniker somewhat unusual? Well, worry not, detective. I am here as a man of peace. I have come here, indeed, not to attack you. No, I am here to offer my services to you. I am a master of efficiency. Above all else, I know exactly the turning of the clock. Listen, do you hear the oncoming train? It is always six minutes late. <laughs> I thought you, above all people, detective, would appreciate my skills. That is why people call me a clock king. I wasn't always this way. I used to be an efficiency expert. I would help people schedule their day down to the tiniest little detail. But they wouldn't listen to me. They wouldn't listen. Despite my brilliant mind and my perfect suggestions, People constantly disobeyed me. And that's when I realized I could do so much more. I could have such a richer career undertaking the criminal element. So much about crime is simple timing. When does the bank vault open? When does the guards change? What are the tiny variances between Wednesday and Saturday? And what makes one more optimal than the other for performing a robbery? That is why the Clock King became one of the premier criminals in Gotham City. <laughs> yes, indeed, detective, I am speaking of Gotham. You thought I was referring to somewhere else, did you not? Well, that is why I've come to talk to you. I have traveled quite a long way in order to speak with you because I think that we can help one another. Imagine it. I will help you. What can I, the Clock King, do for you? <laughs> you will never fail again. Every single mystery will be revealed to you. You will be able to sit in your parlor and brilliantly deduce the most challenging cases. And there will never be the tiniest element of danger that you might be wrong. You will be able to solve the most devastating mysteries that are coming in the next 20 years. You will be able to tell pronouncements to the art and take the glory for yourself. It's not cheating, after all. Is it cheating to read a schedule? Is it cheating to take the information that is given to you? 
and this is what I am giving you. Now there comes the slight matter of what I would ask of you. You see, I have a small problem in Gotham City. There is a miscreant, a criminal, a vigilante, one who sets himself against me, one who calls himself the bat man. And I would like to see him stopped. You can see from looking at me, I am not going to pose a physical danger to one who has dedicated his life to physical exercise and the attainment of brawn over brain. But, but, if Batman were to never have existed, then I would be supreme because I came about entirely separate from the Batman. But I, with my brilliant calculating mind, I know a few key dates that will ensure the Batman's demise. And I have calculated from this very day until over one hundred years from now, which will lead to the detective's downfall. The Batman will never rise to power. He will be destroyed when he is but a year into his miserable campaign against crime. So few things can do this. Oh, I wish you could see. All we need to do is nudge a newspaper reporter in the right direction tomorrow. All we need to do is give a few extra quid to a young boy on the street which will ensure that he gets a job that otherwise he will not. These tiny changes will ripple through time and they will ensure that the Batman will fall. There is a criminal in my time, a most disturbed individual has a bit of a wide grin. And if these things happen, he will become just a little more violent and a little less silly. And when the Batman is still figuring out his place in the world, pow, pow, two shots, that's all. At that time, the wretched night vigilante is not wearing body armor as he does in my time. It will be enough. The Batman will fall and I, the Clock King, will now have everything I need to rule Gotham with efficiency. You see, it's really peaceful. If I am in charge, the crimes will happen at the very peak of efficiency, minimal loss of life. Really, you are being a hero. So, what do you say, Mr. Holmes? Tell me, will you help the Clock King and ensure your fame forever or I will ensure your falls. What? You're not Sherlock Holmes? You're, you're the Batman in disguise. You 
followed me back in time? But I calculated everything. I looked at every conceivable... You... You were the informant that I got this information from. Matches Malone, weren't you? I knew there was something funny about you. Fine. Take me back, Batman. Take me back to prison. But if I ever get loose and get a hold of another time displacer, I will ensure that you never exist. Tempest Fugit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to Roleplay Riot. It really helps me and it helps you see new ones when they come out. Feel free to suggest a character for me to play. This Clock King was a suggestion from a viewer just like you. Thank you so much and tick tock. See you again soon.